In order to get the number of periods, we are going to do something different. So we are going to insert two columns. In the first one, we are going to get if we have more exports. And in the second one, more imports. As we said, when the balance is negative, we got more imports. And if the balance is positive, we got more exports. So we can work with the if function. If balance is greater than zero, we are going to return the value one or zero in other case. By this way, all the periods when we got more exports, we have one as value. We can see it if we apply a filter and we can see positive balance and negative balance produce export equal to zero. Now, we are going to do almost the same for imports. If we have a negative value, we got more imports. Or zero in other case. And it works by the same way that the function that I grow in the exports column. Now, in order to get the number of periods that we got more exports, we just have to make a sum of the exports for each president. In this case, we can work with this sum function. Also, we are going to work with the same database, which is the table balance with headers. Now the field is the number one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We are going to zoom the values in the seventh column. And the criteria range is the criteria that we have been working with. And that's it. We didn't get any period with more exports than imports. So all the periods we got more imports. Let's do it with the same function. But now we have to change the number of the column. For imports, we work with the eighth column. It is 23. For getting the values for other precedents, we can just copy and paste the functions. Paste, 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 paste. But now we have to change the president name. Now we are going to paste, to paste the value for Ernesto Cedillo Ponce de Leon, then Vicente Fox Quesada,
Ten Fernando Calderón. Den Enrique Peña Nieto. And we need another one. Por Andrés Manuel López Obrador. Now we can apply format styled, but if you can see, the president cells have an style apply. Excel took it automatically from previous cells. So we are going to remove this format. just by this way. And it is done. Now we can apply predefined styles. And since we just have a row per each table, we can remove the filters. They are not going to work in this case. By doing that, we can go to the, to the data path, then deactivate the filter button. And it is done. And by this way, we can analyze each presidential period. And one of the most important values could be the variance, because it shows how the difference between one period and other is growing. In this case, a big variance means instability. So we can see that we have more stability with Carlos Salinas de Gortari, and it is increasing with other presidents. It increased with Ernesto Cedillo, but decreased with Vicente Fox. Then it increased a lot with Felipe Calderón, increased with Enrique Peña Nieto, and it is increasing a lot with Andrés Manuel López Obrador. We can see that in a normal president period, we have around 72 periods or 72 months. In this case, we don't have the Carlos Salinas de Gortari period complete, but we have it for Ernesto Cedillo, Vicente Fox, Felipe Calderón, and Enrique Peña Nieto. 
Now, if you can see, for Andres Manuel Lopez Obrador, the variant is, is increasing and he has been in the president just by 50 months. It is less than a quarter of the total period. And since the variance is increasing, and if it follow the same rule, I mean increasing and increasing and increasing, we are able to make a forecast about the instability, talking about exports and imports. Now, the challenge is to know and to think about in which period there is a bigger range and when there is a less range. In which presidential period there is the bigger and a smaller range and what does that mean? In which presidential period the average in the balance is bigger smaller and which of them is closer than zero and what does that mean in which presidential period the variance is bigger and smaller and what does that mean now the other part of the challenge is to think that all these numbers are the current numbers for a country. We can talk about the country called CSG, the country called EZBL, BFQ, FCH, APN, AMLO, Now, once that you have seen all the numbers for all these countries, think that you have a million of dollars and you have to make an inversion. In which country are you going to make your inversion and why? See you later.